Hello, my family. I understand it's been a while and I've had some really interesting things come up. One, an opportunity came my way, so I will be working with making videos and being able to become like the old-fashioned general store in bread making. I had an opportunity in my town to be able to make fresh breads and be able to sell at a market. So I count that as a blessing. That is going to be one of the things that are new that just came through. So that's the reason why there was a pause between my videos at the moment. Today we're going to do something very interesting. Um, I had done some price checking and I'm going to go over that with you. So as soon as I get everything organized, I will be right back with you. Okay, so I was doing some price checking on oatmeals. A lot of people love that convenience of instant oatmeal. And to be honest, I used to as well. And then I got into noticing that there is different things that, um, hold on y'all. I am with my grandchildren at the same time. So I'm kind of keeping an eye out. Mom had to step out. So trying to keep an eye on things as well. So I apologize. But anyways, instant oatmeal. Now, I like the fact that instant oatmeal, if my husband's going to eat oatmeal during the uh, mornings, he just gets a little bit. I'm finding that I don't have a whole lot of time to make his oatmeal in the morning. So I'll make a, a big enough batch and he's not really getting fresh every day. So I started looking into instant oatmeal. However, on the shelves, first of all, some of these can be really expensive. And second of all, there's preservatives and stuff that I really don't want to be consuming. So, I did some price checking for a two-pound canister of quick oats is what I'm needing for today. It is $3.98 for two pounds. Now, if I were to do the stuff that's already made up of the instant oatmeals, a great value has got 20 count, and it runs anywhere from 1.23 ounces to 1.51 ounces, which is 1 pound 51 ounces. The prices on that run anywhere from 356 to 698. So I am just going to go ahead and make up my own. I will show you that one of the things I'm fixing to do. Now there are many different varieties of doing this. But the one I'm going to do, which is his favorite, and I also have another one I'm going to try. His favorite is um, cinnamon. And he does like apples. Now, apples, I took a green apple because he's been known he can have a green apple every once in a while. So what I ended up doing a couple days ago is I took a bag of green apples and I dehydrated them. So I'm going to use these in my instant oatmeal. With some apple pie spice or maybe even some cinnamon i might go cinnamon this round and what we're going to use are little jelly jars so i'm going to show you how to do that and then i'm going to show you a recipe for those of you who like strawberry and cream i'm going to show you how to do that as well now i'm not going to do this by myself today though i actually have one of my grandsons who's going to be working with me and it's going to be caleb today. Oh, Caleb. Caleb is going to help me in the kitchen and we're going to make, we're going to be making instant oatmeal, ain't we? Mm -hmm. They love oatmeal too. So we're going to see how well this works. I am going to test it tomorrow morning on my husband. One jar, it says for a half a cup. Now that's a normal one person serving. Again, we don't do a complete serving for my husband we do about a half of that. So with his, it'll be a quarter cup servings, but it's enough that I can pour hot water, get his lunch ready, cover it up while it's stewing and brewing or whatever it's got to do, the cooking for one minute, reconstituting his apple. And voila, all I do is give it to him after that while I'm making his lunch and everything's good and it takes the stress out of me watching the stove. All I got to do is boil water in the teapot or even put it in the microwave. So, let's get in the kitchen. Me and Caleb, we're going to go ahead and make some instant oatmeal. Okay, y'all. So, here 
is our jelly jars that we're going to use now i am using something that's going to make this a lot creamier as well and what they don't tell you in these instant packages is actually we do have the whole oats type thing like this and they got that full grain oat now these are the one minute or the quick oats this is what you want to use in these recipes is the quick oats they cook in a, within a minute but to get that creamy consistency what's in those packages is the fact that it is taken with uh, i'm using a spice grinder or coffee grinder and i'll break it down into a flour base so that's what will make it creamy so i'm going to use half of this with a half of the oats and that's how we're going to do this recipe now i'm going to give you um again like i always do in the description box below i will put down the recipe for you but i'm also going to be using half of that because again this is for my diabetic husband who does like his oatmeal but he does not get a full serving a full serving is a half a cup per person so we are going to go ahead and get all of our ingredients ready and at that point we're going to go ahead and put in here we've got a week's worth which is seven jars so i am going to be making a week's worth of oatmeal and we shall be right back okay y'all so here we go we are going to add a half a cup of oatmeal so that would be this now we with the half a cup of oatmeal you can do this two ways you can use straight oatmeal or you can do the half and half if you want it creamier which would be one quarter cup each the oatmeal flour and one quarter cup of quick oats now i am actually going to be halving this recipe so honestly i will be doing half and half to make his creamy so i'm going to take in each jar for me i'm going to take an eighth of a cup of my creamy oatmeal And naturally, I don't have an actual eighth of a cup, so I'm going to have to do half of my quarter just to make sure I have this. So there's that one. Again, this is the oatmeal flour based. This is what brings that creaminess out in the oatmeal. These are like making meals in a jar, basically. And now I'm going to take the other half and add it with the oatmeal. The quick oats. Now that oatmeal flour is quick oats again that is ground down. And this goes in each jar. Now you can do the next step after this is some people like to have milk in their oatmeal now this is going to be optional for you but i am going to go ahead and add just a tad bit of powdered milk to this the recipe consists of one tablespoon per jar for a half a cup of oatmeals of the powdered milk so caleb is going to bring me my powdered milk over here and I'm going to bring this up so that you can see us for a bit. There we go. While we're trying to work on this. So the powdered milk. Again, I'm just doing a half recipe. But it says for one tablespoon for half cup servings of our oatmeal. So I'm going to do half of this. Actually, we're going to go a little less because there we go. 
and if you choose not to add this milk you don't have to just add water and you're good to go this is just to give it another rich flavoring basically or that creamy creaminess about it but in apple cinnamon you don't necessarily have to do that either we're going to try this and see how this works though now we're going to use one quarter teaspoon of cinnamon per jar or apple pie spice I'm going to go with apple pie spice for half of this and cinnamon for the other. Caleb, I need the apple pie spice, babe. Yep. Good boy. So we're going to go with half of this. And like I said, I'm going to put the recipe in here for y'all. Quick, simple. You know what's in this, honestly. And you don't have to worry about those preservatives. It's a quick on-the-go meal type of thing. And I been wanting to do this idea it makes it so much simpler for me to get him ready for work in the morning so it was this was a no-brainer oops i kind of went a little overboard i guess i'm going to do them all this way i was going to do half cinnamon and half apple pie but i got to talking and lost my way so next time i make this we'll see how he likes these and then we'll go with the cinnamon okay now we need now here is something you can do you can use freeze-dried fruit, or you can use the dehydrated fruit. So we are going to go with dehydrated apples. And again, this was the green apples that I dehydrated. I tested them out to see how they worked. Or you can get Dollar Tree, honestly. Dollar Tree has freeze-dried fruit. So you can use either one, y'all. I've already tested this on one already that I made him. Uh, I think it was yesterday morning, and he happened to really like it. So we're going to be using, the recipe calls for two tablespoons of apples. So now I'm not going to use as much in here because with the oatmeal and the apples, that's too much for a diabetic, but a little bit will be okay. So two tablespoons for a normal person on a normal breakfast of, of a half a cup. So we're just going to add just a couple pieces in each of his while we make this. And I'm using for me about two tablespoons, or not tablespoons, teaspoons. We just want a little bit just to get that apple flavored in this, but... And here in a minute, I'm going to have Caleb help Mama close up some of these jars. Want to do that for me? Mm -hmm. He wanted to work with Mamma today and I thought that was really cool. So there you go y'all. Just as simple as that and we have instant oatmeal in a jar and all we have to do is add, you can add hot milk, hot water, you do whatever you got to do in the morning boil your water pour it in your jar seal it up let it sit for a couple minutes go go do what you got to do come back and eat your oatmeal simple as that so now what we're going to do Kayla, take these lids and put them on each jar for mama then i'll come back and we'll put a ring on it this one here don't need one so we're just going to put this cap on it okay well no we're not because that one won't fit yeah well yes it does okay so Take one cap like that, put it on each jar, just like that for Mamma, okay? And then I'm going to come behind you, and we're going to put a ring on that, okay? Yep, that's okay. You're just going to place them on each one, just like so. I love that. He's such a little helper. And this is simple enough for kids to work with your kids with, too. And kids love instant oatmeal, y'all, I'm telling you. I will include the um, strawberry and cream recipe for you as well. <laughs> yep, we got one more. That's all right. And now we got Papa's breakfast already ready for a solid week. Simple as that. Shake them up just a little bit. And that's it. You've got breakfast just like so. Go ahead and shake those other two for me. There you go. Now the um, strawberries and cream, I they 
it's the same thing as far as the oatmeal base. You want to be able to use your oatmeal, your oatmeal flour for your creaminess. You're going to use your powdered milk, and you're going to take freeze-dried strawberries this time and add it to it. You are welcome to also add about uh, two teaspoons if you are using a half a cup of oats, two teaspoons or approximate to taste salt. Now, I'm not adding salt to this. You can also add sweetener. We're not adding sweetener to this either because I'm going to let my husband put his sweetener in his jar himself. But you are welcome to add brown sugar or uh, regular uh, diabetic sugar if you wanted to of your choice. Sugar substitute and add them to your jar and have that all ready for you. So... Like I said, I leave him to do his because he has different tastes. I could add it, and then he can tell me, well, it's not sweet enough. Go figure. So, we will set back up, and we will be right back with you. Okay, y'all. So, I'm hoping that you enjoyed the fact that you have a very quick, simple meal. Actually, inexpensive because a two-pound container of that oatmeal is going, going to go an exceptionally long way. And I can almost guarantee you a lot further for the price of that container than you would actually get from buying the box. So, I mean, I actually like the fact that we can put what we want in it. We can make a variety. You can do a maple brown sugar. You can do the same thing that you buy at the store, you can make it yourself, but without all the preservatives in it, a lot healthier things as well as fruits and whatever. So I'm going to test this method. We haven't tried it yet. I will be making it for my husband first thing tomorrow morning. And like I said, I like the fact that I can pour in the liquid, put it in the microwave, go do whatever I have to do while this thing is cooking, or just put on a pot of my tea kettle uh, add hot water or use my Keurig, add the hot water, and voila, his breakfast is being done while I take care of everything else, and I don't have to worry about it wasting time. So, I like the fact that Caleb was in the kitchen with me. That's pretty cool. Today is their last day of fall break, so they go back to school, sadly, he says, tomorrow. But they've been off for, what, a week and a half now? Yeah. So, all three boys have been off of school for about a week and a half now, and they all go back to school tomorrow. I also am going to add in this uh, video here shortly, I am going to be doing a poblano pepper. You can go play if you want to. I know you want to. Yes, you can take that off if you want. Um, the peppers that I gathered in the garden, I have a bunch of poblano peppers. And I am actually fixing to make us a soup. It's kind of, it's not a cold day. It is a rainy, dreary day. Um, so I think it would be just a good October type of thing. We're going to make a poblano chicken, uh, creamy chicken soup, low carb. So that is going to be the next thing that you're going to go in the kitchen with me. We just did a breakfast, so let's go do dinner. And when I get this one done, it's just going to simmer. I'm going to show you all how I go ahead and make this soup. And I'll let it simmer, and that will be that. And I will put, again, that recipe in the description box below for you as well. So once again, let's go to the kitchen and make some soup. Okay, y'all, so the first thing I want to do, this is going to be almost like a... Um, Poblano Rielnos or Chili Rielnos type of thing. Um, I'm going to take these peppers and I'm going to roast them. I don't have uh, a gas stove where I could put them on there or I don't have a torch. So what I'm actually going to do is I've got my broiler running. I'm going to stick these in my broiler until I can get the skins on here charred. And we're going to make these into roasted Poblano peppers because this is the peppers that is going in our soup. And we will be right back. I'm going to take you step by step and how to make this soup. It looks amazing, y'all. So I definitely want to try this. I have some leftover chicken that I had made the other night when I made uh, chicken thighs. Actually, it turned out amazing because it was a pomegranate chicken. Oh, my goodness. It was absolutely amazing. That was a Mediterranean so I'm using the leftovers on that 
and we're going to turn around and make our chili relleno soup basically so let's get this in the oven in the broiler we do get this charred and i'll show you what the next step is